this is an example showing how to use um, the theorems that we learned um, about a right triangle that has the hypotenuse drawn in. Um, what we learned is that if we have, we call this L1, this L2, this H1, this H2, and this A. And so what we learned, what's going to be relevant in this problem, is that L1 squared, one of the legs squared, is equal to the segment on the hypo of the hypotenuse on that side, so in this case H1, times the entire hypotenuse. Now, and uh, what we're given on this problem is that AB is 12 and AB is 4. So to use this, we need to find something for H2, but we don't know what it is, so that's the point of the problem, so we're going to call that X. And so we're going to have 12 squared equals 4 times 4 plus x. And then we just solve this. So we get 144 equals 16 plus 4x. Subtract 16, and we get 128 equals 4x. So x equals 32. And so that means dc is 32. Now it asks you to solve the rest of the triangle. We could do that in a couple of different ways. You could you could now just use Pythagorean theorem to finish. But instead of doing that, let's use our theorems. And so BD, we learned, if we just do BD squared, that's A. So A squared is equal to the product of the two parts of the diagonal, which in this case are 4 and 32. And so that means A squared equals 128. And when you take the square root of it, well, 64 goes into 128, so you get 8. So A, or BD in this case, is equal to 832. So now we know the um, length of H2, we know the length of A, we know the length of L1, we know the length of H1, so we just need to find L2. And again, we have a formula for him, and that is L2 squared is equal to his side of the hypotenuse, H2, times both of those. L2 we don't know, so we're going to call him Y. H, or the A, or the H2, we, we found out, that's 32. H1 is just 4, and then plus 32. So that gives us uh, Y squared equals 32 times 36. You take the square root of both sides. If you're creative, you notice that 32 times 2 64, and then you're left with 18, so when you square root of that, eight go, take, the square root of 64 is 8, the square root of 18 is going to be 9 times 2, and so it's going to end up being 3 um, root 2, um, because we're going to take the square root of it, and so it's going to be 8 times 3 root 2, which is 24 root 2. And so in this case, d squared is 24 root 2. You could, like I said, calculate that with Pythagorean theorem, but I wanted to show you how to use these four forms.